Hello everyone and welcome back to Project Live Fully. This week, I'm going to try to switch things up a little bit and by taking a page from the two Foy brothers, I'd like to try to get away from scripting my videos out as much as I had in the past. While I appreciate the security that that gave me, I think that I'm missing the mark a little bit on the authenticity there and on the relatability and the feeling that the video gives off and that rawness that you get from not following the script. I think that in terms of trying to improve myself as a creator, it's important that I get comfortable talking directly to you as the camera and the audience on the other side of the lens here. And that for the sake of the project itself, that it would be more meaningful if I'm actually just talking off the top of my head about what's on my mind, what the mindset was, what we're struggling with, what my plans are, as opposed to scripting all of that out ahead of time and then trying to work through it like that. Because if our goal is to show that mindset, that it's probably a more accurate representation of what I'm thinking if I don't have everything perfectly laid out in the ideal order. That if there's things that don't perfectly connect or that I evolve the way that I'm thinking about it even as I'm talking about it, that showing that is better than trying to perfect it all in the script in advance. Uh, but that, that kind of analysis is definitely still important to do either way. I also want to try to get better at being so long-winded when I go off script, which is something that most people would know me that I really struggle with to begin with. Um, so looking at a recap for the last couple weeks, Project Live Fully has obviously officially launched. The YouTube channel exists. Jay and I both have personal YouTube channels as well, and we have Facebook and Instagram accounts for all of us that are all linked down below for you to check out too. We are releasing content on a nice schedule now with Monday, Wednesday, Friday releases. Additionally, we are supporting each other and keeping each other motivated and accountable to keep pushing out content. And that's good because we all face those small speed bumps in life and on the road as we keep moving forward. And none of us have been immune to that so far as we face the challenges in our day-to-day -day lives. And so having the team has been really useful. And seeing the growth that we've had even over the last two weeks is really something special because Jay and Ray are already really talented but even for myself I'm seeing gr massive growth in just these last two weeks already from where I was when I was first trying to figure out how to make that first video to now and highlighting that one of my best creations for last week was actually the camera walkthrough that I did so I wanted to share a little bit of that here with you now so let's take a look at that <laughs> I just I re went back and I rewatched that same 20 second little clip of B-roll before trying to record this and it just makes me happy every time I do. I can't stop myself from smiling because I know how much hard work I put into that whole little video and that clip itself. I'm proud of it because I know that I couldn't have made that 7 minute video 2 weeks ago and as I'm watching through it I can see all of those small obstacles that I had to overcome and all of the skills that I had to learn and then practice to be able to try to make this video possible. And yet, while I can recognize the pride that I have for it because of the achievement and the work that it, and the growth that it represents, as its creator, I still have the concern that I can recognize that I get bored watching it and I find myself not really wanting to finish it. I get about a minute into the walkthrough of the different camera part names, this is the dioptric adjustment knob, this is the yada yada whatever else, and I find myself not wanting to continue watching it that much. And I'm still really proud and the video makes me happy, but that leads me with the question of, well if I as the creator don't even really want to watch it that much, then why would anybody else, and what does that mean for the future of the project? I don't know if it's luckily or not, but this isn't an idea that we are concerned that we hadn't already thought of. This was actually something that my younger brother had brought to our attention early on in the planning process when it was still just me tinkering around with the idea before Jay and Ray came on. That there's kind of a dichotomy or a balance that we need to find between the one goal of the project is that we want to start filming and documenting the process from the very beginning, day one of the journey, where our skill level 
would be as relatable as possible to the average person out there on the market that if you just went out and you picked up a camera you are on the same ground as me or at least you were two weeks ago when we started but you want to balance that relatability with entertainment because while it's not all about the subscribers we do want the channel to grow because we want to be able to reach more people we want to have followers that become invested in our journey and want to follow along and share their own journey with us as they go and that's hard to do if you don't have the entertaining content so how do you balance that the better you are the more entertaining content you can create but also what you want to start documenting early so that you're relatable and where do you find that balance and I think that that kind of leads us down the certain theme I guess the theme for this whole video that I'm trying to get at of where the video doesn't have its identity figured out yet it doesn't know exactly what its potential should be I mean there's definitely people out there that can make a tutorial really exciting I mean one of the big guys obviously Peter McKinnon or anybody else that the rest of his friends that can make these tutorial videos and make them so interesting to watch um, but that I mean, we don't want to be him either it's so the video doesn't know what its potential is it doesn't know what its identity is and that carries through for the whole channel as my Joshua Wolf channel it doesn't have its identity figured out quite yet and the project itself too we don't know exactly what it's supposed to be it's young and while Ray and I Jay and I have sat down and had talks about what we think a successful project what would that mean to each of us how would we define the project as being successful and how do we think we can get there we don't have all the answers yet and it's constantly evolving and I think that that's really a much larger topic and that kind of relates to all of us as individuals too where I certainly don't have everything in my life figured out and I don't have my identity of who I am I mean I know that I could be the son the father of a puppy the brother the fiance the American whatever else I might use to try to describe myself or identify myself but in terms of what my role is in this world and what my potential is I don't have the answers to all that figured out yet and while not knowing exactly what you're meant to do with your life is certainly not a unique trait just to me I did my best to make a career out of that pretty much to the point that the whole idea of not knowing what I was doing kind of became my whole identity not on purpose but with you for a long time there and I compared myself to other people and I resented the choices that I'd made and my what I stuck with and what I didn't and for a long time there if you've talked to friends or family of mine and you polled them about what are the top traits of Josh and I'm sure that among the top for many of them would be that I was fickle or wishy-washy and I regretted that and resented that part of myself for a long time and that inability to really figure things out and I didn't intend to be that way I think that it kind of came about as being in fifth grade and having these goals and passions for exploration and adventure and then hitting the reality of being the new kid at school and what that did to my emotions and personality and then I was 13 years old and reading business books from my dad and learning about being an entrepreneur and how great that sounded and avoiding the rat race and being your own boss and again trying to balance that with the reality of what most of us do with our lives and luckily I did well in high school and I got into a good college and I squandered that opportunity for the most part because I went to a top tier university for three years and then transferred for another three years and over that time I had five different degree paths I tried engineering I tried medicine I tried business I got different licenses trying to find other ways to find things along on the side hustles and I had my insurance license I got my EMT license I got my scuba certification thinking that I might do something with that I then went off and I got two more master's degrees and then trying to narrow it down even further and keep moving my career forward and none of that's really panned out the way that I wanted and I then I've also had entrepreneurial things on the side I was in the insurance business I was I had a drop shipping business I had a print on demand business I was software to manage the website business I had other websites that I owned and I had a woodworking business at one point and 
honestly, none of that even exists anymore today. But all of that kind of culminates into where Project Live fully is now because now I look at everything in my life and where we were this last year and how important that goal is and that I don't want to let this slip away, which is why I'm so grateful to have Jay and Ray because we're all already seeing that now as we run into the challenges of our day-to-day -day lives with our day jobs and our relationships and finances are tighter now than they were six months ago and we have the new puppy and we lost my grandfather two weeks ago and my parents are moving and we're moving in a couple weeks and trying to get all of these things figured out but in the stress of our normal lives that's exactly when trying to find these things that we're passionate about and trying to live fully are so important and this whole idea of not knowing what our identity is and that's kind of what we want to do with the project to begin with. That was the whole idea of starting at the beginning. And all of this made me think back to another one of those motivational speech composite videos that I watched. I think this one was um, of Tom Bilyeu's. And he's talking about the hard truth about becoming great. And he's explaining that to become great, it takes time. It takes a dedication and a willingness to keep working every day and to understand that you're not great yet and that I think it was Henry Cartier Bresson who said that your first 10,000 photographs are going to be your worst and he's talking about that greatness is a craft it's a process it's a habit and that what it takes is you being able to get your self-worth out of the way and stare at those things that you're not good at yet and recognize your weaknesses and target those and keep working every day and having the courage to keep getting up every day and doing one of those things that you know is going to be one of your 10,000 worst photographs but that if you just keep doing that and you just get started and you keep moving that that's how you'll eventually become great and that's what we're trying to show here is that even though we don't have our identity perfectly figured out we don't know I don't know what I'm gonna look like when I'm eventually that National Geographic Explorer someday or the photographer but that right now, even though I'm not great and I've recognized that I just made a boring video, but that's one of my 10,000. The project has started. We are moving forward. The day count is moving. We're on day 14 of this journey. And that's kind of how it all ties together between Project Live Fully and finding your identity and understanding the process that you need to go on to become great and having the courage to keep moving forwards every day to go make content that isn't going to be perfect and just knowing that you're moving forward to getting a little bit better every day because that incremental growth is so powerful. So looking forwards, I recognize that I still have to make these intro tutorial type content because I need to ex work on learning those concepts myself and trying to show that growth from the very beginning like I want to. But I think that for like the typical boring type content, the gear review type stuff, the tutorials, the walkthroughs, the theory stuff that we'll try to keep it to like one minute shorts is what I'm thinking. So that they're bite sized, fun and quick and easy to swallow and that I can make more long form entertaining content as well for the short stories and adventures and exploring St. Louis and scuba diving and things of that sort where it's easier to hold attention for that long. So. I want to do a little bit more research and start trying to tinker with those ideas and keep making more content, keep making my 10,000 bad photographs. I'm glad that that quote aligns well with what my actual goal is. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you'd like to continue to support our channel, please like and share this video. Please subscribe down below to Project Live Fully as well as our individual channels and Facebook and Instagram, which are all linked down below. And please comment with if you've ever had any thoughts or struggles about trying to find what your identity is and what your role in the world is going to be. And if you know what your goal is that would help you try to live fully, please let us know. We'd love to hear about it. We'd love to see what you've accomplished and we'd love to see the updates each week. So please subscribe, go on this journey with us, and we look forward to seeing what we all accomplish. Have a great rest of your day and thanks again for watching.